guys what's up my name is Dalson Gaz in this video I'll teach you how to go ahead and design this product image that you guys can see I don't know what it's called but whatever it is you guys get the point anyway so I'm working for this company and they sent me this lipstick box and if you're wondering how I took these pictures I'm about to tell you so I took a white sheet and then I took a light ring like that circle thing that a lot of youtubers use and then I basically used uh, my sister's iPhone X because I have a trash phone and then I took pictures to her phone and that's how I was able to get these images uh, and I'm gonna try to explain this in detail because I know a lot of beginners might be watching this video so let's go ahead click on file and then from there I'm gonna click on new uh, then I'm gonna you can basically kind of select any resolution you guys like I'm gonna be choosing uh, 2K, which is 1440p, and that's 2048 by 1080. I think that's 1440p. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm gonna click on. But we're just gonna use 1080p for the sake of this video, and then I'm gonna crop crop it to 4 by 5 ratio, which is like the Instagram main primary ratio. I design pretty much everything in this ratio, just because it perfectly fits with the Instagram ratio. I do this for posters as well. So I'm going to import my image and let's do this lipstick for now and I'm going to click on enter. First thing first, you need to get rid of the background. So I'm going to use a pen tool. Okay, so I'm basically done with my outline and I'm going to go ahead and create a vector mask. And now we have this lipstick. I'm going to place this in the middle. So hit ctrl T to transform the layer and basically gonna go ahead and set this in the middle and to me this looks good and I'm just gonna go ahead and make this a little smaller so before we do anything else I'm gonna create a shadow for the product so I'm gonna hit ctrl J to duplicate that layer and then I'm gonna go to blending options from there set it to color overlay and I'm gonna set it to black then I'm gonna hit ctrl T and I'm just gonna go ahead and extend the shadow so something like this again and I'm gonna change it to black obviously I'm gonna lower the opacity and then I'm gonna use the eraser tool to erase the edges of the design so there you go now we have the shadow going on which looks which already looks really nice I'm not gonna lie anyways what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna go ahead create a new layer and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go ahead create a clipping mask now whatever we do it stays within that layer and I'm basically gonna go ahead fill this with the black just like this uh, I'm gonna use this eraser tool and get rid of some of it from the top and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the opacity and I'm gonna clear this part up just the metallic part again this might be different for what design you're doing obviously <laughs> because we won't be having the same designs anyways what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead delete that selection and now this is how it looks like and I'm gonna go ahead and increase the opacity now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer clip that mask and I'm just gonna go ahead and select this gray color uh, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and make like this 3D kind of effect. I'm gonna get rid of it from the top and get rid of it from it from the bottom. I can't even speak. <laughs> Anyways, this is how it should look like. We just did like a gray solid color. And to finish it off, we're gonna add some noise. So the texture that they used, I like that a lot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that texture in Photoshop. And I'm just gonna go ahead just bring that right on top now use a razor tool and hit ctrl T gonna fix that up and then I'm just gonna clean this part up uh, lower the opacity of course and I'm gonna hit ctrl J gonna bring it on top gonna do the same again clean it up remember to clean it up because why not Lower the opacity and there you go that's how it looks like 
again just to show you guys like the before and after we did do a lot so this was the original and then we made it look like this again really cool here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead do the background but before I do do the background I'm gonna clean some of this up so pick up the spot healing brush tool and just kind of tap wherever you kind of want to make it clean so now what I'm gonna do before I do kind of finish my design off I'm gonna put like a particle on the background so to do that we're gonna go to file I'm gonna click on open and there's this graphics pack that I use which I will leave in the description down below uh, it is a paid graphics pack I believe uh, it's called fragments graphics pack and again you can download the template from my patreon so you can get the particles or whatever I use for free which is kind of cool anyways we are gonna go ahead if you do have this or anything similar to this you can use that as well and I'm gonna use this particle let me just go duplicate that back into my original project file I bring it down let me just change it to something that you can see yeah there you go control U colorize increase that and make it work with the background that definitely does work something like this oh yeah that definitely does look nice again this is like a personal preference before I do in this video I'm gonna go ahead and add some colors so maybe we can play around with the brightness so maybe increase the brightness increase the contrast for sure we can play around with the level so maybe that's there increase that increase that just a little bit that can stay there and there you go so before after just add that little kind of lightning going on and yeah that's really it that's how you go ahead do a product design uh, i hope you guys did enjoy this video i know this was long i know i talked like i spoke really slowly but i really just wanted to explain myself because usually what i do through my tutorials i'm just like wrapping through them i'm like hey guys what's up my name is Dazzling Goss, and i'm back in with yet another video <laughs> so i said you know what i'm gonna just slow down a little bit for this tutorial and yeah, that's really it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, my name is Dallas the Boss, and I'm signing out.